Days of rogue contractors and collapsing buildings may have just come to an end. The government has inaugurated the National Construction Authority with a clear mandate to restore order and sanity in the industry. The authority will assess the capacity of any contractor, including professional qualifications, adequate staffing and financial capabilities, especially those dealing with government projects, before they are licensed. The move will help weed out contractors who have been doing shoddy jobs and blacklist those who have been behind stalled contracts or delays in completion of many important government projects. The ministry is in the process of repealing the Architects and Quantity Surveyors Act and replace this archaic piece of legislation with one that addresses current needs and trends and which responds to the world's best practices in the industry. Prime Minister Raila Odinga, who presided over the launch, told the new authority to ensure that the construction industry, which is second to tourism in terms of growth, is run by professionals. We don't want to be firefighting all the time. And we don't have to be firefighting all the time. So we can avoid all those if we have proper standards and we know who is responsible for what. We put uh, 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 not only contractors on notice, but anybody who is going to build without uh, being compliant. It is now official that errant contractors have nowhere to hide. And if the launch of the National Construction Authority this morning is anything to go by, non-professionals just became jobless. So here is a word of advice to every contractor. Get yourself registered. For News at 8, I'm Joanne Wairimo.